if we're thinking about that 2% risk reduction for every one millimeter of mercury reduction in systolic blood pressure, how far down does that go? Is that down to that 115 millimeters of mercury mark and thereafter it kind of tapers off? Or we just don't have the data there. So the one millimeter, two percent rule of thumb is a back of the envelope, rough idea of what you can expect. When we look at how blood pressure is related to risk, would that it were a straight line. It'd be really easy if that were the case. But of course, it's not. It's actually kind of parabolic side facing upwards so that every time you increase your upper number by 20 points, so going, for example, from 140 to 160, you doubled your risk by that. From 160 to 180, you've doubled it again. If you start at 120 to 140, that's twofold. 140 to 160, that's fourfold. 160 to 180, that's eightfold. So the risk is proportionate, but it's proportionate in what's called a geometric fashion instead of a straight linear fashion. The moral of the story is that if you're looking at a blood pressure of 170 or 180, you get a lot of benefit just getting it down 20 points, much more than if you're 140 getting it down to 120 for the same 20 points. So the higher it is, the worse your risk categories are, and the more important it is to lower it. 